So this is my part one video of reclaiming precious metals from CPUs and refining them by electrolysis. Here we have a simple motherboard from a computer and here we have some pins that have already been collected. You'll need to melt them down with equal amounts of borax into a crucible using a map gas torch. Uh, once you get them to a molten state, uh, like I said, equal parts of borax and gold pens, you will pour them into a graphite ingot mold. Um, after you have a few of those together, uh, you will take and melt those with equal amounts of an alloy. Uh, whatever type of alloy uh, just to soften these metals because they contain copper and brass and other harder metals and you want to separate them down and the electrolysis uh, by salt water method um, is easier adaptable to softer metals like aluminum and tin um, so you use your scales to measure out the equal parts and uh, I will show you how to attach them to an actual button. Here's one of the buttons that I've made. Um, this has already been uh, alloyed down. And what you will need to do is you will need to take uh, solder and paste and a propane uh, torch but you will cut off a small piece of solder and hammer it to a smaller button. This is the easiest way I've tried multiple times uh, to attach. And this is the easiest way I found. So you'll put a little bit of your solder flux in between there and set this right here and heat that up until it attaches. Once that attaches, you will let it cool and you want to cover them in silicone and let them dry. If you have any exposed wire, uh, the salt water will break down the wire itself, causing these to fall into the solution. Uh, this, this here is a three gram, or three ounce, sorry, bar. Uh, you can see one of the buttons didn't melt all the way down into it, but it's still good enough, soft enough to be melted. Uh, but what we're trying to accomplish is to turn this all into a liquid state by uh, using an anode and cathode uh, electrolysis system, system uh, using a salt water and electrolytically charged uh, cell which is basically a, a container with water um, using, like I said, the anode and cathode, uh, positive to the anode. This is where the metal uh, would hang with the positive charge to be dissolved over to the cathode, which is the negative side of the battery. And what this will do is it will precipitate, uh, turn all of the metals into a liquid to later precipitate out the, the gold by adding a metabisulfate, sodium metabisulfate. I will cover all that in a later video. I just wanted to go over some of the things that you would need to create that. There's quite a few things. Um, it starts with collecting the pins. Pins with the borax. Melting the borax and the pins together with a map gas torch poured into an ingot, ingot mold um, to be melted again with a alloy to create a softer metal dissolvable by the salt water electrolysis method. You will need a propane torch, silicone, solder, paste, 10 gauge wire, wire strippers, wire cutters, 
You do not need an anvil. You can use any hard surface. I just have one available, so I use it. Uh, you will need a small hammer or a regular hammer, um, some hemostats or uh, small needle nose pliers. You can put a rubber band at the top to hold them tight. Um, like I said, create your solder button, put paste and paste, heat it up with the propane, and you will end up with one of these. Cover it in silicone. And this is the first step. It takes a little bit to get this far. But it is well worth it in the end. Uh, this is part one of how to collect and refine precious metals with the saltwater electrolysis method. Thanks for watching. If this has been helpful or useful, please subscribe.